Hi guys, so you guys clicked on this video because you guys want to see my reaction to the new My Chemical Romance song that just came out. Here's a little background on my history with My Chemical Romance. When I was younger, so like elementary, fourth grade, I was obsessed. That's an understatement because I, what did they say? Lived, breathed My Chemical Romance. I'm pretty sure I got that wrong. It's fine. If you guys like know me and my channel, then you guys know I get pretty much all sayings and metaphors just incorrect but that's not what this video is about. I have been obsessed with My Kim Romance when I was younger for an extremely long time. I mean, even the email address that I use now feels like My Kim fan for life, you know, like I'm not gonna say the real one, but basically that's what it is. Like people have dog lover forever. No, my, mine was MCR fan forever. I was obsessed. I used to watch all the documentaries and I still have them, but they're in my garage in a very safe container with all the rest of my memorabilia. This is just the only shirt that gets to stay out because I love this shirt so much. I mean, look at this My Chemical Romance font. It's their old font. So I have magazines. I used to watch their DVD like crazy. Yes, DVDs. That's how you can tell how long I've been a fan. Up to the Black Parade. And then Danger Days came out and I kind of slowly stopped listening to them. I hope this new song sounds like their older stuff. We'll see. I'm super stoked. I mean, it, it's been a very long time since they released a new song and uh, they're doing their reunion tour. So they're dropping this single right before the reunion tour. And in October, I'm gonna go see My Chemical Romance. That's the whole reason why I bought uh, When We Were Young tickets for Las Vegas is because I want to see My Chemical Romance. When I was younger, I didn't have the money that I have now to, you know, buy concert tickets. So I have to like live out my dream of seeing my chemical romance live by going and seeing them so many years later i mean how many years have this has it been jeez ah uh, like i think 15 years wow okay i just turned 25 so <laughs> But that's the whole reason why I purchased tickets and honestly, I'm kind of thinking about buying Aftershock uh, festival tickets And I kind of want to see them at I think the form they're performing. Yeah, I was super super obsessed with my chemical romance I did get the opportunity to see them for a K-Rock K breakfast with Kevin and Bean So you can Google that you'll see me right in front of center in front of Frankie And it was just crazy because like I was pretty much separated from the band by a guitar chord like that's all that I was separating me and Gerard Way. Like, I was obsessed with Gerard Way when I was younger. <laughs> oh my god, I'm just like thinking about everything. And yeah, so let's uh, listen to this song. I wanted to film on my bed because you get to see the second album right here. I really, really like love the first album, but unfortunately they don't have the rights to those songs, so they can't perform those live. I really do love the second album too. Third album, I just always think of when I was... Okay, I'm not gonna sing. I don't have musical talent. So let's pull it up on Spotify. I'm gonna stop it a little bit so I don't get demonetized because I probably am. So got my chemical romance right here mcr and let's listen to the new single so it's called the foundation of decay so it's six a minute song which is actually pretty lengthy oh my god the life on the murder scene i used to watch this dvd like crazy too i loved the life on the murder scene i had the bifold uh, dvd i loved it let's see let's see let's start it six minutes I don't know why I want to like tear up a little bit. Kind of, I'm a very emotional person, so like I just, my chemical romance has a lot of history with me, so I'm kind of fangirling a little bit. I just imagine being at the concert right now, and you're in the pit, and then you just hear that guitar just starting and right before they're gonna perform, it's giving me chills.
Okay, I was a little worried at first because I was like, I don't really like the vocals at the beginning and I didn't really like it, but let's see. Okay, so I'm definitely gonna have to look up the lyrics because I'm not wearing them in my earphones, obviously, and it doesn't have the lyrics just yet. Sounds a lot harder than their new songs. So the reason why I kind of dropped off from watch listening after Danger Day, it just got too poppy for me. Like, I love the screamo, the hard, like, vocals, and I love, so far, I love this guitar. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, this guitar is really giving me chills. I love the guitar. My whole body has chills right now. Oh my god. Is my conqueror romance. Oh my god. This sounds so good. Okay, we're only 3 minutes and 52 seconds into this song. And... I'm telling you. Like, I'm, like, have chills. And, like, I'm getting kind of... Uh, like I said, it's just my history of my chemical romance. that I'm kind of getting... It's dumb. Super dumb. But I'm getting a little emotional. <laughs> Okay, at first it was like really repetitive and I was like, oh my gosh, this is gonna be such a repetitive song. I'm not sure, like at the beginning. Three minutes into the song, it seems like it's a whole different song, but the same song, if that makes any sense. Okay, I'm getting tickets to the form. I have to go see them at the form. Imagine oh, just a whole concert, like their concert. I need to find a way to get tickets. Okay, that kind of sounds like Mars Volta a little bit.
Even just the ending, the guitar is like the drip. Oh my gosh. I am so, so shocked that I actually like the song. Like I was going into this thinking, oh, I just felt like I needed to make this this video because like I'm telling you my relationship with MCR, like I needed to make this video, right? And they haven't made a song in an extremely long time. I was like, okay, let me, let me listen to it, right? And everybody at work was kind of talking about it while on the chat, everybody was just talking about it. I work for the music industry, so that's why we're talking about music during work hours, but oh my gosh. I really like it. I'm telling you, up to three minute mark, I was kind of like, okay, this is sounding a little repetitive and that's kind of how Danger Days was a little bit to me. But after that three minutes and 30 seconds, what, that was amazing. I have a lullaby like towards the end. Then you got the screamo part. The guitar is, oh my gosh, I can't even, this is so awesome. This song, like I'm, if this is a representation, like it, I, I haven't really looked into my Kim Cormans in a very long time. Okay, warning, warning, before you guys lynch me, because maybe they did release it. Like I said, I kind of stopped watch, listening to them after Danger Day, so it was a long time ago. But I didn't even know they were coming out with a new album, one. So if this is a representation of what the album is going to sound like, I am so ready for it. And I need to go see them in concert. I mean, I already have tickets to go see them, but I need to go see them for their own concert. Um, the only reason why I never like was like, oh, well, you know, I, I, why go pay for the form like for their own concerts? Because like, maybe I'm not gonna get three cheers of sweet revenge. I might get a little bit of Black Parade. Definitely not gonna get Bullets album. So I was just kind of like, it's like hesitant to buy tickets. But oh my gosh, this song is so good. Like I'm extremely shocked, guys. And maybe that's why I went in with like zero expectations i thought it was just gonna be a poppy song but i need to listen to these lyrics because it was kind of hard to understand them but yeah i am so happy okay cool you know it was helena too in my fourth grade parade my mom <laughs> made me the whole entire uh helena ballerina suit i wish i had pictures of that Everybody knew me as the MCR fanatic. Like I said, huge, huge history with my Kim Cromance. And I am going to share this like crazy. Wow. Super shocked. Super shocked. Really excited. I hope the album is just as good. If you guys haven't like listened to the first album of my Kim Cromance, I brought you my bullets. You brought me your love. You have to listen to it. It is so good, honey. Oh my God. That's first song. Doom, doom, doom. That's why I'm like, is this like getting back to their hardcore riffs oh my god i'm so excited okay i'm gonna go tell my mom because it's actually a really good song i didn't like the first three minutes that much i'm gonna say that i wanted to hear gerard's voice and i was like oh is this just gonna sound like auto-tuned the whole entire time obviously everybody's music everybody's voice is kind of auto-tuned but like I, I this was like too much and i was just like first three minutes i'm like i really like the guitar but sounding repetitive but holy cow second of the song a plus a plus a plus a plus Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this review, a pleasantly surprise. If you guys ever wanted like, um, I don't know, like a whole entire tour of my old My Chemical Romance merch, let me know. I would have, I'll pull that down from the garage, but yeah, I'm telling you, I was like an extreme MCR fan. So sad I didn't get to see them when I was younger, but it's okay. I was a little kid, <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did. And you know, if you guys are here because you guys just seen this reaction video, hit that subscribe button. And um, yeah, I love, love music. Love it so much. Love it, love it, love it, love it. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video if you subscribe.